Hey guys, it's Matt again from Photoshop Fun. Thank you for watching. Get a lot of people asking questions about where is there an easier way how to use Photoshop in regards to getting rid of things like pimples, moles on faces, anything like this for instance. Yes, there is. If you've got any version of Photoshop, most of them have got this tool. It's just one tool, it's all you need, just the one tool, and it just gets rid of it like magic. The tool is called the Spot Healing Brush. Here it is here on the toolbar on the left. It's the first one they got there, first one. You've got the Spot Healing Brush Tool, you've got the Healing Brush Tool, Patch Tool. Uh, Content Aware Tool is pretty good as well, and the Red Eye Tool. Uh, one we're talking about today, is the spot healing brush okay we select that and automatically straight away it comes up with this cursor with a band-aid and an arrow on it the arrow points to where you're going to be uh, fixing or repairing whatever it is that you're going to repair all right now this lady's face i mean it's a model off the internet it's royalty free images and all that type of stuff so all i'm going to do is just go straight over it this is by default there we go there's default settings. Uh, you can go into all different brush settings at the top here. Um, it's, it's all, by default, it comes up with 39, and its hardness is quite high. I, I don't know why it's high. I'll bring this hardness down a bit. Now, in spacing, it's very small. All those type of details you really don't have to don't have to know too much about. Now, this one here's another one we're going to look at. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out on this so you can get a good idea, a good picture of it same brush tool again, the same spot healing brush, just go like that and just paint over the actual spots, that's all you do. Now it's it's very straightforward what, what it's doing, it's actually doing content aware, it's taking a piece of, let's say you're, you're touching this piece here, it's taking a piece of the image on the left, taking a piece on the right, the top, the bottom and merging it all into the middle. That's all it's doing basically. Now this is a spot healing brush that we're using here, so I can go like that, oh it does that, you know. The best way to do this is to just do spots. Spot here, spot there, spot there, spot there. Right, so now we're getting rid of all the little bits and pieces, all the little moles on her face, the poor girl. Um, I mean, a lot of people like, I got a mole on my face and, you know, it's one of those things that we never get rid of. Um, now, if you've got an area that's quite small, like I'll zoom in here so you can see it. See, it has a whole lot of different things here. Now, you can use the spot healing brush tool to do that. However, if you use the patch tool, the patch tool, you basically select an area. Right, once it's selected, you drag it over to another area and it gives you a preview of what it's going to duplicate. So I go like that and it blends it in. See that? That's pretty easy yarn, that's pretty cool. And you're best off to go to a darker area. If you're in a lighter area, you're best off to go to a darker area so it blends it better. If I don't, if I go straight to a white area, see what happens there. It comes up like it's too, too bright. So I have to go around that again and go to a dark area. So, you know, this is the other thing that we're talking about. But the main tool that I really want to talk about today is the spot healing brush. No, dot, 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 dot. That's all it is, dotting around, dotting around, dotting around. So that's that one done. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Dot, dot, around the eyes, do a little bit around the eyes. Okay, there's another model. Here's another one, very easy. A lot of people say, oh, are you kidding me through that model? Not that good. Bang, gone. There you go. Now we're going to use the content aware tool here. Now, Content Aware Tool is very much exactly the same thing that's going on. Except there's a bit more in detail. With Spot Healing Brush, you just go dab, paint it, done. Content Aware Tool is better when you're doing it for, I don't know, say for instance, you're looking at a picture of people, a whole lot of people, and then next to a building, and you know, you've got a road, you know, stuff like that. It's really good for that. So, Content Aware. All we do here, we get this, drag it over to there, and we hit enter. And that's what it does. Or, front the other way, see, I'm moving it, moving it around. So like that, right, right down. To enter. I don't like it. 
I don't like punting the way too. I prefer Gary straight back to me. Bring it back here. Bring it back here. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Done. 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 Alright, that one done. But if you got any blemishes on the face, like things like, you know, bumps and stuff like that, I would perfectly, fresh, I, personal preference, the patch tool. See what happened there? I went to the light area. That's not good. So I guess I've done for the area. I'm going to blend it in so well. But don't forget, these two tools are magic with Photoshop. Spot healing brush. Scars! I mean, no, this is probably a, a makeup. It's probably not real. Anyway, we're going to do the same thing here. So you can go like this with the spot healing brush and colour in the whole thing. It's just going to take a picture of there and a picture of there and blend it together. Again, a little bit more, a little bit more. Just keep on going like that. See, so that's taken images from above and, and below. So then those two. Now, content aware might be even better with this one. So we're going to use another type of content aware. If you get the IT tool, just do a selection like that. Okay. And you can much to edit. We go down to content aware fill. Now that's going to mask the whole rest of the body, rest of the image, only that area you selected. All right. When you're happy with that, that's what it's going to look like. Like magic, isn't it? You know, if I zoom in, you can see exactly what's going to happen. So hit OK. Done. Now. <laughs> It's amazing the things that Photoshop can do, stuff like that. I mean, this is high resolution images. It's awesome. Now, a bit more involved here because this man's face isn't smooth like a baby. So we're just going to use the same old spot healing brush. Go along there, go along there, go along there. See, it's gone. Gone, gone, gone. All it's done is just blend it in the rest of the image on both sides of the picture. There we go. So he's no longer Scarface. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching and please subscribe down below. Don't forget to ask me more questions on any other tips and tricks with Photoshop. Thanks for watching.